Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about why exclusive games are so important for next-gen consoles. And of course we are talking here on the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Now here, the PlayStation 5 might have an advantage over the Xbox Series X, but again, what I'm saying, it's true also to the Xbox Series X and it depends on the developer. So for example, a developer decide to create a console exclusive, not console PC, not console other platform, console exclusive uh, game, right? Uh, that is uh, optimized for the platform, they can take use of everything the console has to offer. Now this of course includes a very fast GPU, uh, very high memory bandwidth, and let's not forget of course the SSD. But again, when you know that you're developing your game, specifically and exclusively for a specific console you can optimize games to create really amazing experiences that can take even full use what the hardware has to offer but the thing is that uh, when you are developing games for several platforms you're probably going to make sure that it can run well on different platforms right and an exclusive game will of course take advantage fully of what the console has to offer so if you have a very very fast ssd we know that Many people don't have this type of really fast uh, storage drivers that these next uh, console uh, have. So if you are building something, you probably need to consider the fact that uh, people who run the game, uh, you probably have kind of uh, slower, much slower loading times. Now here, again, I'm talking here about a game developed from the ground up to the, uh, for the specific console uh, and one that was designed with a creative thinking to really kind of create uh, a game that will show the capabilities of the hardware. Now from what I can tell right now, we're probably going to see more console exclusive games for the PlayStation 5. Although we have PlayStation now, we know that most if not all of the games that will be introduced to the Xbox Series X sorry, developed to the Xbox Series X, will be available for Microsoft Windows as well. Now we can expect, of course, to have exclusive PlayStation 5 games that won't be available through PlayStation Now because Sony's strategy here is different than Microsoft to some degree. Uh, we can expect this game to look even better compared to the Xbox Series X slash PC or slash Microsoft Windows exclusive. And that regardless of presumably the outward advantages that the Xbox Series X over the PlayStation 5. Now, if I look at the previous generation, the PlayStation 4, uh, compared to the Xbox One, we can see that uh, Sony kind of has a better uh, track record to deliver these amazing exclusive games, uh, which really take advantage of the hardware compared to what we've seen on the Xbox One. Now, having said all that, it's also related to game engines, uh, and we already seen, for example, what Unreal Engine 5 is capable of when running on the PlayStation 5, although, of course, it supports also both the Xbox Series X. So the question is, if we take both the game engines and, of course, the creativity of the developer and the intention to create an exclusive for the console, how far we can get in actually seeing uh, like the next really next gen games on both platforms now the other thing we need to take into account is the ssd although i know i don't know i'm not a game developer but i know this has a great effect when developing games and what we know is that um, sony has a property storage uh, uh, for uh, ssd uh, which can read at 5.5 gigabytes in a single second and just if you compare it to what the Xbox Series has, has it has this SSD that has a raw uh, throughput which is less than half of that, which is uh, set on around 2.4 gigabytes uh, per second. And what this means is that more assets can load into the memory faster because the read speed is faster. This means is maybe for certain type of games that the PlayStation 5 will be even uh, better overall compared to the Xbox One because of these uh, differences in loading spins of the SSD. Now you need to understand, at the end of the day, it will come down to the developer. You know, what type of game developers are going to make, whether they really kind of try to push the limit of what is possible uh, to be made on uh, the PlayStation 5 console. 
with an exclusive game. And whether how we're going to see games developers developing for the Xbox Series X, knowing that the game uh, should also be supported on um, uh, Windows machines. So again, with that thought, I want to hear what you think. This is might be a big advantage. What I mentioned here about the SSD, about the exclusives, might be a big advantage for Sony. Maybe not at launch. Maybe be a bit down the road. I mean, if I was a developer and I was only developing for one specific uh, console and I really want to make something that really take advantage of the hardware uh, and not worry about any other compatibility and, 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 trying and testing and benchmarking it against other hardware. And when I think about it, I mean, probably take more effort uh, compared to just focusing on a single console and developing for that one. Uh, so, yeah. So, of course, we need to wait and see what we're going to get at the end of the day. But definitely seems like it's going to be uh, an advantage for PlayStation 5. Uh, maybe not now, but down the road. So, tell me your opinion. What do you think about that uh, in the comment section below? Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to my channel and giving a like. More videos are coming and we're going to debate quite a lot about this. So, when I go and decide finally to get a console, hopefully I will make a smart buying decision that I will be happy with. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers. Stay safe.